Hi guys, so I'm coming to you today with a big, random, messy kind of haul. I used a lot of my um, birthday gift cards and I had there were a lot of sales and coupons and things like that. So I just bought a ton of stuff. Um, so I'm going to start with makeup and beauty stuff. And then I'm going to do bath, body, candle stuff, and then clothes. So that's the order if you want to skip around. Um, and the clothes also include shoes, just in case that interests you a little more. So first place I went to was Sephora, because I had a Sephora gift card. I had $50 on my gift card, um, and I didn't use all of it. I only bought one thing. I bought my new Tarte uh, High Performance Naturals Amazonian Clay 12-Hour Full Coverage foundation and it has SPF 15 and this is in shade fair so this is thing and you could see all the information on the back why is this not there you go so it says all the stuff on there the Tarte Amazonian clay foundation shade fair it has this little bamboo cap um, it's sealed right now, but this is the like see-through color, and this is the color I've been using a sample of for the past um, like few weeks because I haven't been using that foundation that much. I love it so far, so 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 much. This was I think 38, so that's a lot, but I had the gift card, so it made it worth it. I cashed in some of my um, Beauty Insider points, and I got this is the hundred uh, point, and this is a benefit. Moisturize Triple Performing Facial Emulsion. This is a face moisturizer from Benefit. And this is 0.3 ounces, so this is kind of small. I didn't look at it yet. Look at the bottle! Okay, this is adorable. So, and this says Moisturize Triple Performance. It doesn't smell like anything. And it just has like, that's it right there, like a thin more of a lotion than a cream. Oh, it does have a smell. It's like a fresh... This smells like something familiar. Um, but it's nice. It's a nice light smell. So that's the benefit one. That was a 100 point perk. So that's available now, I think. And then this weekend, they're having a VIB insider sample thing. So if you're a very important beauty insider, which is if you spend over 350 a year, you can get this bag this weekend. And you can get it online as well. And this is a silver bag. I haven't opened it yet, so let's see. Ooh, lots of stuff inside. Um, there is a Buxom Lash Mascara. And it's by the Bare Minerals people. There's Anastasia Lash, Gen Lash Genius Waterproof Mascara. I like this. Oh, it's not available until May. Sephora Instant Moisturizer. Is this focusing? Yeah. Good. And then, ooh, a Benefit Pore Freshenal Pro Balm to minimize the appearance of pores. I think this is from the same collection that the um, the other one is from, that the moisturizer is from. Um, Hope in a Jar, that's philosophy. Uh, what's this? Meaningful Beauty Cindy Crawford Superfine Exfoliant. Oops. So, that looks cool. These are all cool. Uh, Strivectin TL, and this is a tightening neck cream. That's a pretty decent size. And, ooh. Ooh. I'm sorry, I'm getting so excited today. Stila uh, Yumberry Crush Lip and Cheek Stain with Shimmer. This is a lot of stuff. I'm really glad I got this. I wasn't going to pick it up, but I'm glad I did. I'm sorry if the lighting's a little off. I have my window open and the light's on, but it's like dusk right now. So it's a weird time. Alright, so this is what it looks like. It's like one of these brushes. I'm not going to push it up right now, but I think that's the color in there. It's supposed to be Yumberry. This looks cool. So if you are a VIB for Sephora, go check out. I don't know that all of them are the same. The inside of the bag has a cool pattern too. I don't know that all the sample bags are the same, but I know that in like the picture on the website, I saw the professional one, so I knew that was in it. But this is cool to check out. You have to spend over 35 to get it. But if you have, if, if you are a VIB, you are entitled to it. So that's my Sephora stuff. Um, I actually don't have any other makeup right now. So I have Beth and Body stuff. I went into Beth and Body Works because I had a coupon for 
Um, one of the ones they were giving out with the Paris thing where buy one signature item and get a signature item free. But while I was there, there was a woman from like Bath and Body Works headquarters doing surveys um, to talk about marketing for next spring. And next spring apparently they're going to have a line that's um, really retro looking and girly. There was like a honey sweetheart one and there was one that was like daisy sunshine. And there was another one, the daisy one I got to smell and it smelled really nice, um, like light and like daffodils and kind of stuff like that. It was a very pretty smell. Um, so I got to try that and big, for answering questions it was like, you know, one to five, how interested are you in this? Um, so I answered some questions on that and they gave you a five dollar coupon for that, like a gift card coupon thing. So I used the, that five dollars and got this candle because... The, um, all the boardwalk candles are like 50% off, so I picked up this one. And this one I had always wanted, the Root Beer Float. I had always wanted this one, but I wasn't sure if I should get it or not. Like, it didn't just, it only had it in this size or the really big size, and I wasn't sure if I wanted to commit to it. But this, but we were just having Root Beer Floats the other day, so I just, it all just clicked. But it says, a treat that always delights, sweet root beer poured over vanilla ice cream with a touch of nutmeg. I never put nutmeg in my Root Beer Floats, but... There it is right there. So this is usually $9.50. It was $4.75. And it smells exactly like a root beer float. If you've ever had an A&W root beer float, this is exactly what it smells like. So my gift card got me that. And then I used the coupon to buy the full-size item and then um, get the free, f the one free. So I bought Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin Body Wash. And this is the new Shea Enriched Shower Gel. And it says, smooth over skin and enjoy the fragrance of our exclusive sweet cinnamon pumpkin, a cozy blend of fresh pumpkin, crisp uh, apple, and vanilla. And this one is, it is very sweet. You can smell the apple in it. Um, and then I also got the lotion. I got the lotion free with the coupon. And then this was really hard to smell for me for some reason. It's like, I don't smell anything right now. But I don't know if that's... Okay, I smell it more on me. It just smells like a very fall scent, like apple, a little bit of spice. I don't smell pumpkin as much. Um, it doesn't smell like the sweet cinnamon pumpkin candle. It smells more like the sweet cinnamon pumpkin soap from last year, so keep that in mind. But it is a nice fall scent to have. It's light and you're not going to smell like a fall pastry or anything like that. Um, and then I went, I was in a different mall and I remembered I had a coupon, another coupon. Um, and it was for, it was one of those ones that they mailed out for the Paris party to get a free travel size product. So I just went in and got the Love 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 travel size. I don't have the notes on this fragrance because I didn't, um, they're not written on the back in this size. But this is really fruity and sweet. The initial scent to me, it's just really sweet. Maybe there's a little vanilla because now I'm smelling vanilla but I don't know. To me, it smells like a Malibu Bay Breeze. I don't know. That's probably completely inaccurate, but that's what I'm smelling right now. So I got that free, and then I picked up um, one of the hand sanitizers, and I got the Black Cherry Merlot. Um, and I wanted this for fall because I really liked um, the way that this smells. If I could find something that's, that tastes the way that this smells, I would probably just eat it all the time. It smells so good. It's just like dark, sweet black cherries and like a little hint of like that wine smell. This smells really good and really like deep for fall. I like this a lot. I think that's... Oh, I also picked up at Target um, a candle. And this is uh, Sweet Spun Sugar. I've been going back and forth over whether or not I should get this for the longest time. And um, this is from... Uh, they have a brand. Hold on. Scent Portfolio Soy Candle, and this is $5, and it says up to 20 hours burn time. This is a 4 ounce candle, so it's the same size as the, the, actually it looks a little bigger, but it's the same size as the Bath & Body Works small candles. These are usually 10, this is only 5, they're always 5. They had a bunch of smells, um, but this smells exactly like cotton candy, and like it has that warmth that cotton candy has, like it's not just cotton candy, it's like warm, like off the... You know, when they're twisting it on the thing and it's like still hot it smells like that um so not like just a cotton candy smell like it smells like hot cotton candy when i burned it the throw was really good i could smell it like in the whole room and i had a really big room um only thing is i got a weird after smell of like soap i don't know if that was something else environmental that was going on but i, I did smell soap at some point so 
just a heads up on that. I went into Forever 21 because the mall where I went to has the plus sizes. So I picked up a pair of their skinny jeans and these are like a kind of like a black I guess or like a really 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 dark blue. I'm holding them against I'm wearing blue jeans. Let me see if I can. Wait, I'm wearing a pair of Forever 21 blue jeans that look like this color and this is it. So this looks black compared to that. But like a grayish black I guess. And these are $13.50. Um, the sizes in the plus line are really really weird. Um, I wear a 16 regular in normal jeans. For some reason in Forever 21 plus sizes I wear a 14 short. So I mean this hit right at the ankle though. So if you did want longer um, you'd have to go for normal. But they hit like right at my ankle so they're perfect if I'm wearing flats or if I'm going to tuck them under boots. But I like the color and the $13. I mean, even if I only wear them like a few times, $13 is nothing. I also picked up, I feel like I had so much more to show you guys. It's so much less when you pull it all apart. Um, I went to Nordstrom again to return those Michael Kors boots and I picked up another pair of the Chinese laundry boots. And these are, yet again, the Spring Streets. Uh, in size 10, this is the box. The box is so pretty and colorful. None of the other boxes I have look like this. And I got those cognac boots I have, but in black. And I tried them on in the store. They just slid right on. And since I'm wearing the skinny jeans today, it looked nice. I was able to see how it would look. And I love these. I kind of love the buckle on them. They kind of have like a little badass look to them. But I really like the, the black. They smell so nice. They smell like nice leather smell. Um, so these are really like, and those are 99 and that's their regular price. And you know Nordstrom is great about like shipping and returns and stuff like that. So if you wanted to try them and you weren't a fan of them, that's cool. I also picked up because I had a Nordstrom gift card as well as the return credit. Um, I picked up a pair of Toms. I have coral linen Toms from less, um, Sip from last spring. These are the Toms, and I'm sure you guys are well aware of the Toms. I ended up picking up the Classics in green. Toms run very weird. Um, most of them stretch out. I usually wear like a 9.5 or a 10. This is a 9.5. I tried on a pair of their... The 9.5 is what I wore in the linen ones. Now these feel a little tight, but they do stretch out, and I'm well aware that they do stretch out, and they kind of mold to your foot. I, I'm not the biggest fan of the style of Toms, like how they look, but you gotta be honest, they're the most comfortable shoes that you're gonna wear um, for the at this price point. So I got the green ones. And I thought the green was cool because I don't really like to have um, like a neutral shoe. Like if I'm gonna get a shoe like this, I'm gonna get it in something fun. So these are $43.95, something like that. And the ones in the other colors, uh, like the different finishes and patterns and stuff like that, those are like 53 and their ballet flats are 83, although those are really comfortable. But this has a nice, let me see, the nice insole, it has arch support, it's like a really good feeling. The one thing I warn you about is that if you just keep wearing them and wearing them, they're going to smell. So I'm going to put in like a, a insole in there or maybe some powder or something like that because they do end up smelling pretty quick. Um, and everyone I know says that, it's not just me. <laughs> It has the cute like animal pattern inside. It's just a cute green. So we're going to Disneyland in September. So these are going to be my Disneyland shoes. I've seen so many people like paint and customize their toms. Um, I don't have the nerve to do that yet, but one day maybe I will. Um, so that was that. Oh, and then the last thing I got was this dress, and it's the same color as the toms actually, but it has nothing to do with the toms. Um, it's this really cute dress from Kohl's, and I got it on sale. This is by AB Studio, and this is in a 16. And this is a, sh they just called it a sheath dress. Um, it had a name, I thought, but I'm not sure what it was. So it has this really cute, like, inverted V on the top. It belts, and then it comes out. Let me move back so I can show you guys. And it's just this really pretty A-line floaty dress with the shiny belt. And... This particular dress I find really flattering on my body type. It cinches at the waist. It doesn't look bad up in the top in the bust area. And it's nice and floaty on the bottom. I think it would be really cute in the winter. Like with um, 
with like heels that match the uh, the belt, like a shiny patent shoe, and like black tights. It'd be cute in the summer with like sandals. I really, really like this dress. It was originally sixty dollars. It was on sale for thirty. I had a thirty percent coupon. It came out to like twenty one bucks. So this is nothing. It also comes in um, like a cobalt blue, a hot pink, and a black. I couldn't find those on the website. They had all sold out. But they had this left on the website. In the store, they might have the other colors. Um, so what I wanted to ask you guys was, I'm going to a wedding in California in September. It's outside. Um, it's outside. It's at night. There's grass on the floor. There's candles on the tables. It's medium fancy like it's not black tie optional but it's not like obviously you're not wearing jeans I would never do that anyway um but it's up in like a ranch outside in California in September now do you guys think this dress could be good for a wedding or maybe something like this this does look more casual I understand but when you put it on this drapey neck falls right between the cleavage and it gives kind of like a racy look to it. Not inappropriate, I will say that. It does cover the sides. It just, it falls here, like this. Okay? So, and this is peach and then this is the purple and it has this black belt that goes around it. Now, could either of these dresses be appropriate for the wedding I described? If not, I'm going to need some ideas because I am totally lost and I really don't feel like shopping again. So. I'm going to let you guys vote for dress one, or dress two, or option three, which is go shopping again. Um, out of all the responses, I'm going to pick a random one, and that person is going to get um, some Marielle polishes as a nice little giveaway, and thank you. So, take cast your votes for dress one, dress two, or neither, and one of the responses will win a little present of Barrielle nail polishes and the only rules are you have to be a subscriber and you could only comment once. So green is just one, peach and purple is just two, or option three which is neither go shopping again. And if you do say go shopping again, can you give me an idea of what I should wear? Thanks. Alright, so thanks for watching and start voting.